uh, in the last five years, multimillionaires, both from Beverly Hills, as far as I know, they did not know each other, and both independently told me within the last five years that uh, their belief is that uh, the government is um, uh, trying to break the millionaires and wants a two-class system, the uh, super rich, the billionaires, and the rest of us, uh, which is the model that you see in many parts of the world. I'd like to get your opinion of that, and I'd also like to get your opinion of the military base camps, which are uh, reportedly being reconditioned, remodeled, call it what you wish. And uh, do you believe that's for uh, warehousing people, or do you think we're headed for another world war? All right, let me answer that one for you, Gerald, that second question. And, you know, based on our number of interviews with guests who have looked into this, they truly believe that a lot of these military bases are being converted to camps for us in case things get out of control. Five years ago, Gerald, I would have laughed about it. I'm not laughing anymore. I'm, I'm in that camp as well. I would have I would have laughed at the Amero. I would have laughed at the One World Government, and I you know I would have laughed at this, these multimillionaires that would have said they're trying to create two classes. And as I said, it, it's right in front of us. The too big to fails, the wealthy keep getting more and more, and the rest of us have to pay for it. That's the indignity, because it's not only the the other tax, the the, the property taxes, the school taxes. They're raising our sales tax. You know what they're doing in New York now, they're coming out with new transit cars where you can't sit down so they can squeeze more people into it. At the same time, of course, they're going to be raising fares. How you far can they push Americans? What are they trying to do? Are they trying to push us to the point where we have to fight back? I mean, it, it is bizarre because they know they can't keep doing this to people. This is why they're opening these camps. And, and they, they, they know that their people are going to fight back. But the quest for power, I mean, this is, these are psychotic people that have these kind of ambitions. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. And his first question, chopping up the millionaires, so there's that billionaire group and then the average folks. It's certainly happening. And by the way, you know, we do a lot of... You know, we do a lot of work in in, in the field with with very wealthy people and, and average people. By the way, we make our services available to everyone at the, at the at the level they can afford. You know, if people go to our website, for example, we give discounts for the Trends Journal if people are having you know difficult financial times. They're, Good for you. They're disabled. Oh, oh yeah. And you know, we we want everybody to have the information. And but the point that I'm making, you know. People need to realize this. People that right now say they're worth four hundred million, eighty million, a billion. I know, I know the groups. They're losing everything, George. It wasn't like they had a vault full of money and they, you know, and and now they're holding on to it. They were invested in the gold, the the, the gold standards, Lehman Brothers. Bear Stern, Merrill Lynch, Bank of America, Citigroup, General Electric, Federal Express. They had their money. Their money their money's going down the drain like everyone else's. And they're getting, I'm telling you, they're getting hit big time. They're going under in, in, a, it's, in a different way, but the pain is the same. Here in